Hi, today I'm going to show you how to uh, link Zoom to your Google Drive in order to um, be able to post the videos that you record using Zoom for your classes. Um, you know, again, we prefer that you use Google Meet, but if you've been using Zoom for a while and it works for you, uh, we want to show you how to use that accurately and to be able to post uh, your lessons for your classes so that students can go back and watch them uh, if they have uh, questions or if they possibly missed the test, or excuse me, the class. Um, so you have here my test class. Uh, that's where I kind of mess around and do different things. Um, so we're gonna use this as my example. So got my class here, you know, classwork, everything else. Uh, but I wanna share my Zoom um, videos to it. So here's the, the main issue with Zoom is that it saves to the computer and not to a cloud base with the uh, version that most of you have unless you're paying for it. Uh, then you would have access to their cloud. Um, however, as a district, we do have access to the Google Drive cloud uh, for storage. So I'm going to show you how to connect the two. Um, so the first thing you want to go do is go to Google Drive, open it up. As you can see, I've got all my stuff here. Um, go to the gear here, and we're going to go to Get Drive for Desktop. So click that button. And as you can see here, you want to go down to uh, download, install, drive, file stream. So download for Windows. And give it just a few seconds. So what's this going to do? Let you be able to use Zoom and all of its features, but still be able to easily link and post um, videos to your classroom. So we're going to click this. Yes. It should come up in just a moment. There we go. And you can even add a shortcut, uh, shortcut to your desktop. So click install. And then you're just going to ask you to sign in again. Next. So that's installed. And it gives you a brief little overview. And so basically what this does is connect it to your Google Drive so you're not saving stuff onto the computer, uh, which one, in the event that something happens to your computer, you don't lose, lose the files. Uh, and two, uh, say you have way more storage space on the Google Drive cloud than we do uh, normally. So now I've got my, my drive and my shared drives uh, available for me to view on my computer. All right, so now that we've got uh, Google uh, Drive stream set up. We're going to go ahead and connect, show you how to connect it to uh, your Zoom. So you want to go open up the actual application, make sure you're signed in, click settings, go down to recording, and we're going to I already have it set as that, but I'm going to go back. So you want to find this. Um, for me, it says DIS shared folder. But if you click it, it'll say my drive and my shared drives. That's how you know you're on uh, Google. Um, and then you can see all the different uh, folders I have online. So what I've done is go down to Zoom recording example. Um, this is what I'm using for this. But I've made you know folders for the different blocks you may be teaching, uh, or class periods, or however your day is divided up. Um, so I, you probably want to select this main uh, folder for where everything goes into, and then you can sort it out as you go if you'd like. Um, so we're going to click OK. And so now you see up here, that's where it's going to go. And then um, we can actually go back to here and close that. So real quick, this is going to kind of work, um, but at least it'll make a recording for us. Um, so I can show you. So we're going to go join. I'm already using that. Um, and just a note, you can have it set to automatically record when you start a meeting. 
Um, I have it sit like this for demonstrations for teachers. Um, it's good um, to have because it makes sure, and you can always go back and edit if you want to uh, later on, but um, it's nice to have because it just starts recording when you start the, the session. So that way you don't have to, um, you don't have to for, remember to do it because, you know, sometimes we're worrying about everything we're doing. We get in the session and it's halfway over and we don't um, remember to click until later. So, we missed, so students miss part of it. So as you can see, uh, we've got audio, playback, and Zoom. And it's actually, if you go back, you can see it's saved into my drive. So we're going to go back to the actual website and go back here. So go back to Zoom recordings. Uh, you see I did one a few minutes ago. Um, so I've got 207. It tells me when it was uploaded. I go here and I just want, um, probably for um, most everybody, you just want the MP, uh, MP4. And you can actually um, move to... Just go back one, so we'll say this is my second block class. I can move it there, and I can say you can go and rename it. Let's help you keep track of it. Say Dozier uh, one eight second computer science. So click OK. Um, then what we we're going to do next is. We want to get a link to share with our Google Classroom. So we're going to get the link. Right now, it's default to restricted. So you have to actually add people to, for them to be able to view it. But we can change it to Georgetown County School District, which will let faculty and students uh, be able to view the link, but not any random person that has it. Uh, so you want to copy. And then we're going to go back over to test class. And I've created a topic. Remember, you can do that by going to create in here. Um, so it's got a um, you know, so we have somewhere to put your videos and then once you can go to create a material because we don't need to make an assignment um, unless it was because this is for them to go back and view not necessarily something they need to do um, so we're going to go to link paste my link in there and you can see dozier 12821 csp and you say second block your science and you can actually assign the topic before so zoom video recordings and click post and so now it's here under this and I'm going to just go to my student account real quick just to show you what it looks like all right so now we are on um, my student account that I have and as you can see here we go over to classwork um, you can see that my the second video that I've uploaded is now posted in here. And I can just, as a student, I just go to it, see, realize that's from today, click on the video, and click play. And there's nothing really on there, but uh, you kind of get the idea. So they can easily go and view the video with no problems. Um, and that way they can access your lessons. I hope that it was um, easy enough uh, for y'all to figure out. Um, but we are here to help you uh, make this connection uh, if you need it. Thank you.